Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is going to be a quick tips and tricks for OnePlus X for old users. By the way guys, just before we get started, there's an option to enable annotations on video. Make sure you enable it so that you can see the links in this video. So guys, I have already made an in-depth tips and tricks video for OnePlus X but this is for some old users or if you are already familiar with the Android environment then there are really just few things that you need to know about this OnePlus X device. So guys like the lollipop lock screen you have the lock screen shortcuts at the bottom the phone the lock and the camera you can swipe right to open the dialer swipe left to open the camera and simply swipe up to unlock the device so guys this is the home launcher and if you swipe from the top right corner of the screen it will do a quick pull down and give you the toggles and if you swipe normally then it will simply show you the notifications you have a small option over here to change the toggle positions so once you are done with the toggle positions, simply press save to save the position of the toggles. And you have some nice shortcuts over here. If you press this battery percentage, it will take you to the battery settings. If you press this gear, it will take you to settings. If you press this profile icon, it will show you the users. You have a guest mode and you can add more users to this phone. So I am pretty sure you must have all known about this. Anyway, so you have sim card options here. If you go to sim card options, you can basically enable or disable sim cards and also you can choose the default sim for calls for messages and for cellular data so you can do all that from sim card so guys over here we have something called as buttons so we have on screen navigation bar and the physical hardware capacitor buttons so to enable navigation bar simply enable this toggle and you have the on screen navigation buttons and if you want to swap these navigation keys you can enable this option or else disable it and the back button and recent button will be replaced or swapped and then you have this option that is always enable home button so if you enable it even when you have the on screen navigation buttons the home button on the capacitive buttons will always be working so as you can see i have the on screen buttons if i press the home button it will take me to the home there you have it and if you are not using the on screen buttons you have these additional options for long press action and double press action so for long press i have set it to open app dialer you can do the same or do whatever you want so you have these additional options for long press and double tap going on if we go to gestures these are the gestures we have we have double tap to wake open the camera toggle to flash and music control let me give you a quick demonstration so if i double tap the screen it will unlock the device and if i draw an o it will take me directly to the camera if i draw v it will toggle the flash so some pretty nice stuff and I can swipe using two fingers down to pause or play I don't have any music files in this device that's why it's not playing anything so anyway guys let's go on in battery we have something called as battery saver so we can enable it like other cyanogen mod devices we don't have a toggle for that but if you want to enable battery saver manually you can come to this location and press on this toggle to enable it and once you enable the battery saver the status bar will turn to orange color you can change the color of the status bar in battery saver mode like you can do on other custom roms so anyway you also have the option to automatically turn on battery saver when you are having less battery so the maximum is 15 percent so whenever my phone's battery drops to 15 percent it will automatically kick in the battery saver mode so guys if you go to app you have an option to move the apps to the sd card simply select the app and you have this option that says move to sd card as of now it's not working properly i am getting this message saying couldn't move the app not enough storage space so let's hope that oneplus one fixes that and by default all the apps go to the internal storage they won't go to the sd card so you might want to keep a note of that and if you go to about and click on the build number seven times the developer options will be enabled and if you go to developer options you have something called as OEM unlocking if you want to root this device you need to enable this option and unlock the bootloader and then only you will be able to root the device and we have something called as advanced reboot over here let me just disable it now if I go now if I press power button I'll get this menu and press reboot it will give me these three options to go to reboot or recovery or bootloader that is fast boot mode so if you don't have this option enabled those options won't be visible to you 
Next we have something called as USB debugging if you want to debug your phone or if you want to flash a ROM or root your device by connecting the phone to the PC then you need to have this option enabled and in accessibility like any other device you have the option to end calls using the power button and unlike any other device or unlike other OnePlus devices you have something called as customization on Oxygen OS so here we have the dark mode option so by default I guess it is enabled and if you disable it this is what the phone will look like the stock lollipop theme and if you enable it the dark theme will be applied so this is the only thing that you have and the only other thing that you can change are the colors of these toggles so if you're not happy with the color simply select accent colors and now you can select any color you want and the accent colors will be changed optionally you have the option to change the LED notification light but it's not much big of a deal so that's pretty much it guys you don't have much options in this device and it is very close to stock and the only impressive thing about this probably is advanced reboot, the dark theme, the screen gestures like double tap to wake and that's pretty much it. So that's it guys thanks for watching this video I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.